Uh, let's see. I kind of wish I could actually jump with the Aquasphere, but I guess it's not so bad. This is definitely faster than, like, uh... This is definitely faster than walking. Ah, here we are. Okay, this is... This is a dead high lottle Location. At least we don't have to worry about burning this way. Now that I think about it, that is actually kind of a plus. Oh, my inventory is getting full. What if I still have that teleporter if I left that uh, on a planet? I don't know. Uh, I left it on a planet. Balls. Because, yeah, unfortunately my, my inventory is getting a bit full of all the, the sand and other junk. Well, let's get rid of the mossy platforms. Now, we probably want that. Outpost thick wall, I can get rid of that. Stomach lining. Anything less than, uh, anything less than 40 is probably not worth keeping around. Even if chances are I'll get more. Tentacle cluster. Yeah, I don't think we need that. I, uh, pure honey might be useful. I don't think the pus is useful. Stone platform, no. Petal blocks, nah. Jungle stone, jungle stone. Because, yeah, I'm probably going to end up, uh... Driving straight through a fair fair amount of the place here. There we go. To find high level people, you have to look up at the top of the islands. Okay. I I actually found high levels underwater last time around. So I was I was kind of expecting to find them in the in similar places. And yeah, it doesn't look like any of this is going to be scannable. But I think this is actually where we did complete our, uh... This is where we did complete our, our scanning codexes last time. At least, I think that's what I remember. Oh, I'm sorry for my creaky chair. I need to replace the thing. I've been, uh... I've been sitting... Well, I've been using a chair exactly like this for years. But for some reason, this one is just, like, the creakiest ever. So I, was, I, I bought it thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be, like, the exact same. And then it's just like, well, it's, uh... I mean, it's just about as comfortable, but way, way more noisy. Okay, luckily these boxes and barrels actually have a fair amount of stuff in them. I guess if I was, if I was lazy, I could actually just start mining through them. Just take the, uh, just take the bulldozer to the whole place. Uh, have I gotten that? I don't know if I've gotten that. It would be lovely if there was, like, a mini-map in this game that I could just be like, okay, where have I been, where have I not been? At least we're getting healing items aplenty. I don't think those were violent. They could have been. I don't... I don't know. But yeah, look at all these uh, tech modules that we're finding. This will be... Uh, this will be good for, for upgrades. Because I've been kind of low. Hey, a deep diver helmet. Which actually... I'm fairly certain deep diver helmet... Uh, deep diver helmet would be... Helpful? Like, if I if I didn't have any other breathing things. But I guess it would also, it's also kind of completely useless. I'm past the, the point of needing one. See, there's one. Wow. Okay, that's like 90%. Curious, this poster is old and hand-painted. Well, I think I'll be able to at least finish quest progress by being here. Which is handy. Now, I... Yeah, I already looted all of these. I'm gonna make a mini-map mod now. Do it! I I would gladly use it. Ooh, we just got a... We got a new staff. Staff any good? Creates a low gravity zone. Well, what's it do? Okay, it does that.
I like the idea of it. I think I'm still looking for a, a better staff. At some point. I wonder if there's a hotkey for take all. What is this? Oh, empty petal nectar bo bottle. I just, I specifically uh, have enjoyed the, yeah, that's all titanium ore. That's actually really nice. Uh, I'm particularly fond of the uh, the Terraria minimap, and I'm kind of floored that this game didn't actually get one, and it, it did. Because, yeah, being able to, like, tell where you are in the world is actually super handy. This thing takes forever to charge. Holy crap. Or, oh, no. You can just you can just charge it wherever. Okay. I'm used to the wands giving you like an indicator. But this one does not. I'm glad I got that ocean music mod though. It will uh will make exploring around here a little bit less tedious. Cuz yeah, I like I like the music in this game. Oh, hey. Uh we can upgrade my Matter manipulator if I wanted to. Can I? Yes. Let's just make it stronger. I kind of wish the matter manipulator was actually something you could... You could just upgrade forever. Like, as long as you had the resources for it, you could just keep putting points into it. I assume... Oh, hi. There is actually something up here. I was like, I assume there's nothing up this little tunnel thing, and the answer was, no, I'm dumb. Surprisingly hard to... Damn it. Ah! I'm just gonna dig my way out. Screw it. Works. Okay, we should probably be wary of Battlefish. There we go. Luckily, Battlefish is not at all particularly wary of me. It's a bit tedious searching all of these. Oh. Shift to loot minion. It's a take all mod. Good. I will, uh... I will grab that. Maybe when I... Maybe when I take a break or something. Because... Being able to just loot all every time I open up a container would be kind of nice. Okay, so we already searched these. I think, yeah, we still, we, we're still going down. There we go. And nothing can, nothing can stop me. So we've already done that. These aren't helpful. Wait, did I... I did loot both of them. Wasn't immediately obvious. Well, I'm not mining any titanium, but I'm collecting titanium aplenty. Was that a... Oh! There's a uh, microphone in there. And food. Well, I still have canned food. Grab the Terra Macer. I don't know about the shield. Oh, we should... Uh, I should probably muck around with the... Uh, I should muck around with the mod that lets me melt down items for their for the the raw components. I have it, but I'm not using it and I really should. There we are. Okay, so we get other bookcases. Still still going though. These places are always just so immense. I'm actually kind of surprised, you know, there's no high lottles left. Then again, wasn't this universe supposed to be kind of like, um... Kind of, like, not No Man's Sky-y, but, uh... I want to say this universe was kind of like post-civilization. Like, losing Earth was bad. Uh, because it was like one of the last bastions for civilization. Could be wrong. Okay, so that staff is really helpful. It takes forever to charge, though. Yes, the uncrafting table. I need to, uh... 
I need to actually make use of that thing. Let's see, what else do we have around here? He's right here. Luckily, this staff actually does crazy damage, as long as I'm willing to use it. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going around here, even though we're only finding peanuts. So far, peanuts have... I mean, how many, how many little upgrade bits have we gotten for my... Eh, I guess we haven't gotten that many. I don't know, it feels like I'm, I'm getting a whole lot by being here. And when we're done, I'll just take the bulldozer out and we'll just see what kind of weird stuff I can find in the general area. Okay. Technically speaking, without fracking universe changing this, there are no human settlements outside of Earth, only camps. We never find any protectors anywhere, even though they're supposed to be out there. Yeah. I don't know. I They've got an interesting enough universe. I'm kind of disappointed they never really followed through with a lot of it. Because, I mean, it seems like they've got kind of an interesting vision with with space. Then again, I'm a sucker for sci-fi anythings. If it's, uh, if it's set in the future and it's got, like, cool stuff in it, I am generally, generally interested. Curious, is this the Hylodl's home planet? Do people just, like, not know that? Like, I would, I, I don't know. I guess I would, uh... I would pay decent money to see, like, DLC for games like this that just actually expand, you know. You've got the basics down. Now give me, give me, uh, give me the rest. Okay, so we've got another horror fish. I've also got a lot of damage. Holy crap. Okay, I think we've hit the end of this place. But luckily the end of this place was fairly substantial. I don't see anything else here. Your wheelchair lady says you might be the last protector. So they all just put all of their eggs in, in one location and then died. Alright. Well. What kind of stuff can we find? Huh. We found a thing. We found a tomb. In fact, oh. There's a there's a dude. There's just a dude there. My poor bulldozer. I was not expecting there to just be a dude in here. Well, I guess Tomb Raider is a thing. Alright, I've got a collar. When worn by a tame monster, they can provide a wide range of benefits. And I can add them to a filled capture pod with right click. Awesome! Looks like there might be something interesting over here, too. So there is. So there was. I should probably get out of the map. Uh, get out of this for a second. Scan some of these things. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's all going to be in my inventory, mo inventory momentarily anyway. But you know, I guess I should probably just go pick up some of this titanium panels. Wait, does the universal uncrafter? Work for, uh, for, like, titanium blocks and stuff? Oh, boy. I'm just gonna dig this place up. And we're gonna pick this up. Uh, let's see. I... Guess... Could warp up here for reasons. Not that that lasts particularly long. Oh, 
Okay, good enough. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need, but I might as well grab all of it. Ow. Oh, I shouldn't be crossing my legs. Kind of hurt my leg yesterday when I was streaming crossing them, and I think I'm going to hurt myself again if I keep doing it. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of these blocks. What can I get rid of? I don't think we need vine blocks for much. Uh, let's see. Rusty metal? We probably don't need rusty metal. Ornate flooring? I bet that can go. Window lattice? Yeah, that's... Bye. Uh, let's see. Small temple bricks. No, I'm probably going to hold on to that. I think we're going to need that. Okay, and back we go to the temple. Yeah, I don't know how much of this is particularly useful. But I figure it's here. There might be some treasure, and if there's not treasure, well, the, at the very least, there's blocks. Holy crap, this game cannot handle me, though. <laughs> it is having some chugs. What about my 10,000 dirt? Uh, well, so I actually want to hold on to the 10,000 dirt. I've got all those hand mills. Uh, pretty much after this, we're just going to... We're just gonna... Uh, plunk all of these blocks in my hand mills, and we'll see what kind of stuff I can get. I'm finding a lot of silver here. And a lot of structures, actually. There's... There's, like, a lot of locations. I actually wasn't expecting. What is this place? I don't know. It's almost like a... cute little bedroom area or something. There we go. Okay, let's see what the rest of this stuff is. Some of that was, like, moon dust. Huh. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the ornate tiles. We know how to make them. Let's get rid of the modern platforms. Know how to make those. Oh, that temple is still going over on the right. Alright, well, first and foremost, let's scan everything, because if I scan it, I can make it later. I'm actually kind of wounded here. You think uh, different bed types would actually give you different levels of like healing? Okay, let's get rid of the st small stone bricks. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Back to the temple. Let's see what we get. I actually didn't realize the temple was continuing. Ah, ah. Idiots. <laughs> this AI is not really built for me, is it? I was actually not expecting this temple to keep going. But that's that's fine. Okay, do not sleep in an eldritch bed. It actually gives unhealing. Good to know. So actually, it looks like I'm wrong. It looks like there's... There's no more... The temple is actually uh, completely separate from the other one. Okay. Has Wander gone off to fight Cthulhu yet? No. Uh, I'll go off to fight Cthulhu later. Right now, I'm mostly just uh, making a giant nuisance of myself. And digging horrible holes in everywhere. My logic is, this way... I'll have plenty of resources. <laughs> and I don't know, this is this is me just kind of trying to make up for the fact that I didn't do this at all. Uh, the last playthrough? Because, like, the last playthrough, we found this out at the very end. Uh, that you can just bulldoze something. Has Wander bulldozed a moon yet? No. I'm kind of curious what would happen. It would probably be a mess. I'd actually love to play, like, a, a third-person version of this at some point where the moon surface... Like, this plus Astroneer. So you could actually mine the moon down all the way to, uh... to the core. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll do it normally. Ooh, that background change. We're in dark places now. I kind of wish I could attach a, uh, a light to my bulldozer. I should probably die. Let's see, let's get rid of the ornate wood. Let's get rid of the ornate wall. Uh, do we get rid of, yeah, I'll get rid of the timber. I got plenty. Simple temple blocks, we don't need those. Glass stone, probably don't need that. Eh, I could probably keep going for a little while longer. A number of these resources, I just don't need that much. Isn't this like third person? I, I mean like 3D. Uh, not like my, uh, Minecraft? I don't know, Minecraft was always a little, I don't like Minecraft's visual style at all. Let's see. Oh, interesting. There's no background layer for me to mine here. No, there is. I've just been mining it without realizing I've been mining it. But yeah, my inventory is like crazy full and I don't foresee myself getting out of here particularly quickly. Otherwise, at the same time, we just found a, like a whole hell of a lot of resources just sitting around there. So, okay, yeah, let's let's just keep going, at least for a little bit longer. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just churn through this. I was hoping I could find some more titanium. Nope, we just found some titanium ore. That was all titanium ore there. And this is tungsten. Okay, yeah, this is... I will, I will remain here for at least a little while yet. I was considering leaving because I wasn't sure if I was actually making any progress. But I'm making hella progress. Want to pop a teleporter in. I actually left it on the Florian world. I totally forgot. Because I had, I had left it on the ground with the express purpose of um, kind of using it as a checkpoint if I died. I didn't quite take into account that I'd forget and leave. little afraid of what's down there. Oop. I'll grab that in a second. We're gonna run out of food soon, aren't we? We might. Holy crap, I do a lot more damage now. To me and everything else. Actually, I think I'd take about the same amount of damage from burning, no matter what. It's kind of nice. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep eating the canned food. I can always buy more. I like this area because it's easy to mine, even with my uh, my manipulator. Let's see, do I want the inventory mod that increases the size and tabs? Uh, potentially, yeah. I think I think I know of that mod. I just didn't like how it looked. Who needs to go out mining asteroids when you're when you are uh, capable of just popping in a bulldozer and just mining straight straight through to the center of the world? I ask you. I don't really need an answer for that. Okay, I think I'm just going to pick my bulldozer back up. We probably can't do any more substantive bu bulldozing. So I'm just going to explore. Nice part is, if I wish to leave, all I have to do is set myself on fire repeatedly. Okay, I've got some staves. Let's put away the terror puncher and the shield. Let's grab this stuff. Staves or spears, I'm not actually sure. What's this stuff? Still Neptunium? Not really sure what to do with Neptunium. I'm sure there is a use. Well, I think I'm just gonna stop healing and 
whenever whenever I run out of health, that's how we'll get back. Cause I don't really care about getting back here. Yeah, I've already I've already retrieved my um I've already retrieved my bulldozer, so I don't I don't have any worries there. Alternatively, I think we just found a challenge area, so I should probably check that out. Yeah, we did. These are cool. Challenge portal, pocket dimension. Time to break the hell out of it. Ow! Well, as usual, I am a scumball of the highest order. And can do whatever I want. I really need to get, uh, to be fireproof. Okay. Now let me see. We've got pirates, but the pirates are dumb. And I have teleportation, which really does just make everything just so much easier. Hmm. Whoever, uh, whoever modded that teleport, uh, this teleport gun in is a wonderful person. And they made this playthrough like ten times e easier as a result. Also, you know, the wands and pretty much the everything else. I am, like, I am truly, truly in a position of, of pure convenience this entire way through. There's Divinity Original Sin all over again. I my my casual love for fire has uh has only increased over the course of of these games. Oh, the teleport gun is vanilla but unobtainable without cheats. I see. Yeah, you know, I should probably actually use this thing. It does about the same amount of damage but significantly less slowing me down. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know, places. Oh, here we go. Okay, we have a spear. Uh, what can I get rid of? Seashell shield? No. Get rid of the platinum pickaxe might not be a bad move. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the pickaxes. I don't really need pickaxes for much. Actually, I have a sphere. I can go here. And we get a tsunami lance. So put this one up. Fortunately, I'm not much for using spears here. Uh, this just brings me back to the entrance. Not so helpful. I think this is just exit the world. Can I check if the Thunderstaff actually uses energy? Ah, uh, you mean the... this one? It does not. Well, it does if I use the secondary ability. But it does not if I if I'm just use, firing off the primary attack. If I could actually find a rapid ver rapid fire version of that, I'd be kind of appreciative. Well, I could mess around with uh trying to com uh combo items together cuz I do have weapon uh weapon com like combination mods. Let's see, I don't see anything around here. We're starting to find the core crystal stuff. Which means lava. Which means inevitable death if I felt like pursuing it. Which I do. And I'm dead. Hey! Works. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, let's start dealing with the the spoils of war here, of which there are so many. Okay, so I'm just gonna start popping sand into these. Let's see, soft brick, 
I'm sure some of these are actually useful. Can I... Can I put those in? Is that going to go? No, these these temple platforms are, are no-go. There we go. I looked at all those resources I'm going to be uh, using. I don't even know what, like, half this stuff is going to do for me, necessarily. Uh, but hoarding resources of any kind just seems like a good idea. I was hoping we could get some rare stuff from this. Well, whatever. Okay, titanium panel. I don't know what happens when we mill titanium down. Well, it's going, so who knows? Might actually, uh, might actually get some really useful things. Do smooth metal, that, and unrefined gabbro. Cool. And did I still have? I think I sold all of my spare hand mills, but that's that's fine. I guess let's go back to the outpost. Let's get rid of some stuff. Also, take a look at this. Why are you? Not collecting, like, half of these. I have no idea. Well, there goes that experience orb. Not that that really bugs me. Okay. So, there's a food compactor. I think I can do... I can make. It's not food storage. And we don't have that. Um, dang. It's... I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's a mod I had last time that would let me compact food down based on... Uh, it would let me compact food down based on how how rotten it was. And it would like average the uh, average the rot timer. Anybody remember that? Because like that actually would be super ha handy to know. Ape grapes, chocolate. Looks like there's a bunch new, like a bunch of new. Cooking recipes here. I'll have to uh, sit down and get some more seeds. Food stacking. It's a button on the containers if it's installed. Oh, really? Uh, I don't think I have that installed. That said, I would gladly actually... Uh, use that. Right, so what seeds can I make? Bone bow. I probably should have thought about this and got the, the proper reef seeds. We don't need... Eh. I'll deal with seeds later. Because it's not here. Use... B3K's inventory reskin, which has 9 tabs, 120. Yes, that would be wonderful. Uh, let me... Can I just, like, pull that up here? B... K... BK3K. Let's see if I can search that up. BK3K's inventory? Or inventory reskin. Oh, the reskin looks nice. Okay, yeah, let's grab that. Well, I guess let's just grab the... Eh, you know what? I actually just like the BK3K's inventory. We'll go with that for the time being. Uh, if I need the reskin, I'll go with the reskin. But it does look considerably better than what I've currently got. Uh, let's see. Still doesn't actually uh, sort my stuff down. Let me see. Did I ever put my foraging bench down? Can I put it down here? Yes. Okay, there's just enough space. Is it something I can make here? 
No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so I have no idea. Well, I can make more wattage pottage. We're not starving. So that's good. Carrot juice, pineapple juice. And anything there? Nope. Okay, so food's good. I gotta go get rid of some of this stuff, though. So let's go back to the outpost. And then I'll probably want to go grab the uh, my teleporter back. Actually, you know what? No, I can I can put down... An, uh, not put down. I can buy another teleporter. Because I think I had enough for, a, for another teleporter core. So I'm going to go do that. Look at how I'm still wearing these stupid... St the stupid tutu. Oh, quest complete. Uh, I forgot that I even had a quest from this guy. I... Okay, sure. Why not? Anyway, let's get a... Uh, we had a scientific one. Let's get a futuristic teleporter this time around. Good. And that actually fit. And I guess I could have actually sold this to anybody. Let's... Do we wanna? No, let's let's uh let's go back up to the ship. Let's see about the universal uncrafter. I wanna see what I can uncraft. Cause if I can uncraft my my equipment or who knows what I can uncraft. Is it something I make here? No. It's probably at my inventor's table or something. Universal uncrafter. Weapon fusion panel. Weapon Reinforcer, Painting Assembly. I don't even know what half this stuff is going to do. Tank Station Synthesis. Yeah, I probably have a bunch of redundant mods that I don't need here, but that's okay. There's the Augment Extractor, which we'll need at some point. Okay, so... Oh, they're all just sitting on the ground, aren't they? Well, let's get rid of the empty bottles. Like, pipe fence. Don't care. Bunker vent? Yeah, I'll be fine. 